So this is for the peacock bass and largemouth. And if I do see a largemouth, I'm gonna drop this one here. Got one on the Shimano, one on the Florida Fishing Products. All right, I think I see a bass right there. I've got my nines on and I'm just scoping the water, looking for any kind of bright green movement in the water. Oh yeah. All right, Brian Geiske, congrats. You got all the trivia questions right in the last video. Stay tuned. I'm gonna have another trivia question coming up at the end of this video for your chance to win your own shout out. All right guys, since everything's locked down and we have to do some social distancing, I decided to do a little social fish distancing. I think I said that right. I'm gonna use exotic fish to catch exotic fish. I got this tiny little hook. I hope you can see it. I'm using the GoPro because I dropped my camera in the water. Got my dog running around, so I gotta keep an eye on her. But all I'm gonna do, put a little ball of bread, really tiny ball. Bread's a little dry, it's been in the back of the truck. That's it. I'm gonna try and catch an exotic fish to catch an exotic fish. Here we go. Got my bait. Perfect size little bait fish right there. That's a little candy for some bigger exotics. All of that effort and uh, came off the hook. All right guys, got another one. A little bit bigger. It's a baby tilapia. It's a little spotted tilapia, but those stripes right now, they'll actually fade away into the spots that they have when they're bigger. So let's throw this on the other hook and uh, catch us a fish. Boom, there we go. All right, since nothing seems to be biting, let's see how quickly we can catch one of these orange fish. One, two, catch it out. Right there. Damn. Get over here. Man, get over here. Come. Get over here. So day one was a little bit rough. Basically all I caught was a sunburn. The dog was obviously getting bored because I wasn't catching no fish. She ended up starting to run off. So I decided to pack it up for the day. You ready to do some social distancing? Yes. You ready to do some social distancing? Wanna go for a walk? Yeah, buddy. Go get her, go get her. Hey guys, I appreciate all the positive comments and get well soon things. As you can see, she's doing a lot better now. No more pneumonia, no more fever. <sighs> All right guys, so I'm out here just social distancing myself from everybody. Picked up my daughter to come hang out for a little while. That's Lexi. Obviously she's feeling better as you can see her running around with the dog and stuff. But uh, I'm on a mission to catch me a fish. At least one fish, you know? At least one fish. So I'm just walking the bank right now. Um, kind of sight fishing. I got my Nines optics on so I can see the fish in the water better. So uh, hopefully I can uh, spot a fish, drop down my bait, and uh, get these lines tight, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times I like to hang out by these pillars. I see plenty of the orange fish, those mighty cichlids down there, but no sign of a peacock yet. Right over there. Oh, bird nest a little bit, look at that, googing. Let me fix that. It happens, even to the best of us. The worst of us, you know. Be creative now. Is that a dead bird? No. What is that? This. It's a dog toy. It's a piece of a dog toy. Oh, it's, it's probably from that dog over there. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. Break off part of it. Oh, yep. Get your pliers, maybe. Oh yeah, that little These are the spot. Ones. I should probably cut this just like. You're so welcome. Just... For that. Hopefully this works. I am literally going to fold this over, put the hook straight through it. Now we're gonna attempt to catch a fish. All right, so day two was kind of rough as well. Uh, basically, we walked the canal banks, we saw some fish, but couldn't get them to hit. So basically I lost my bait. I found a dog toy on the ground, hooked it onto the, a piece of it onto the hook, and uh, I almost got a fish, but it got tangled, the material got tangled on the hook and when I set it, it just came right out of its mouth. So I'm just gonna chalk this up as two days of failed fishing, guys. So we're all locked out in this whole quarantine thing for the COVID-19, coronavirus, whatever you wanna call it. But uh, I got a question for you. Is it mother nature or is it a government conspiracy? 
comment below. No judgment. I just want to know what your thoughts are. For the last couple days, I've brought my dog out here to uh, run around and stuff because it's an open field and she's been kind of crammed up in the house with us. And you know, going for a walk is fun and all, but she really wants just to run around. So I've seen some fish. So today I've got a couple setups here, depending on what I see. So this is for the peacock bass and large mouth. And if I do see a large mouth, I'm gonna drop this one in here. Got one on the Shimano, one on the Florida fishing products. All right, so right now, Lexi and I, we're just walking the bank. And what we're looking for, because of the time of year, are very bright green colors in the water with uh, black stripes. Because there's a lot of peacock bass on fry. Now, I'm only gonna catch one if I do find a pair and I'll gently release them back near where the uh, fry are so he'll go back to the school. Yeah, that's what we're looking for right now. I've got my nines on and I'm just scoping the water, looking for any kind of bright green movement in the water. All right, I'm using a real-time bait, weighted. Uh, I think I just saw a peacock flash down here, so I'm gonna try and drop this in, see if I can generate some kind of strike. Drop this straight down right here. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Baby, baby, come on, baby, come on. I can't quite see this so deep. Oh, yeah. That's it right there. That's what I came back for. It's a beautiful. Oh, my too. God. That is a beautiful fish. Oh. That rod is that. Yeah, it is. Oh, he just ripped it. Look at the size of that fish. Oh my God. Oh, you can see it through the camera too. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh my God. Is this one that you were trying to catch before? I don't think so. I hope I can flip, yes. Yes. Right there. Boom. Stand right here. Oops. Yeah, right there you go. There you go. Look at that. Right in the button. Beautiful peacock bass. It's a young male. It's got a little hump. Let's get him back to to his family. You don't want a picture? Here? Nah, it's fine. All right. All right, guys. I got a puppy barking. I'm gonna try and catch a large mouth real quick. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Oh. flip him real quick instead of uh, setting the hook too hard he was small but this dog's barking we're gonna let the neighbors relax all right we're leaving and uh go for another peacock bass okay. all right i'm gonna try and redeem myself for a large mouth here I see one cruising the edge got it Just like that, baby. Come on, come on. <laughs> there it is. Boom. A little snack size. Oh, it barely got in there too. Yeah. There it is, time to go back. Ooh, just like that. Boom, boom, bow. Pow, pow. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. It's a chopper. So I finally got some fish guys and it felt great. You know, we stayed a little bit longer, which you don't have on camera. Um, tried to get Lexi on the fish, but wasn't able to do it. They just, they just weren't eating. And even, even beautiful chunks of bread just floating in the water for some orange fish or for a carp, they just didn't want to eat. So hopefully in the next couple days I can get back out there and put her or maybe even my son on some nice fish. 
Before we get to the trivia, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching the videos and I really appreciate all the positive comments on the last video with Monster Mike and, and the uh, Angler Spotlight interview. Um, and remember, if you want to be on Angler Spotlight, just shoot me an email, brian at ceofishing.com and I will do my best to uh, get back to everybody. I am having some issues with the email because sometimes I can't log in because I've got two accounts and I don't know. I just got to call GoDaddy and figure it out. It's trivia time, guys. And here's your chance to win a shout out in the next video. Trivia question number one. How many fish did I catch throughout the video? Trivia question number two. Other than my daughter, Lexi, who did I bring fishing with me? And trivia question number three. Did I end up catching the fish on live bait or artificial? Comment your answers below and I will pick one lucky winner to be shouted out in the next video. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Smash the notification bell, which is like over here somewhere, I think. And yeah, thanks for joining me for another episode of CEO Fishing. Stay safe out there. And until next time, follow me on TikTok and uh, tight lines. They say I be swagging this slaying in fashion. Feel like King Arthur, I just slay the dragon. My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging. Slay like a savage from slicking the best.